AOC craziness. Another crazy woman. Um, it, it seems like the left, they're using women to pass uh, all their crazy things down to the public. It, it seems like AOC, she's very unpopular right now with the general public. Maybe not in her district, but the general public, a lot of people dislike this woman here. She's now being challenged by a woman that comes from a Jamaican um, ancestry. She, so she's a Jamaican immigrant who naturalized and became a U.S. citizen. What, what do you think about AOC? What do you think about uh, the new challenger? Do you think she, she'll be able to, uh, you know, take on AOC in 2020? And, and with AOC and her rhetoric saying that the U.S. government are running con concentration camps at the border, how do you think we go forward with this here? And I'm sorry if I threw a lot at you. I appreciate it. And you loaded up a whole bunch of softballs. <laughs> I appreciate you pitching underhand to me like that. Um, this gal that you're talking about, I saw her interview the other night, and she's rather impressive. Um, mm -hmm. Very well spoken. Uh, oh, she's yeah. spoken, like you said. She's a woman of color, which, um, <laughs> according to what you believe, uh, should really help. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't call her a racist. Absolutely. Uh, but because she's a black Jamaican. Um, if if she wants to run a successful campaign against AOC, I think all she has to do is is mention the following things. Number one, AOC single-handedly killed the largest corporate relocation in New York history, mm -hmm. and we're going to come in, create tens of thousands of jobs. Get this, Jermaine, paying an average of almost a hundred and twenty thousand dollars per job, and she kept Amazon out of New York. It would have been a multi-billion dollar revitalization of the entire area where they were going to buy up properties and build offices and support systems to run the Amazon system there, and she killed it. So everybody that wanted one of those jobs that was lining up doesn't very much like her, do mm -hmm. they? That's number one. I would tell the public that. Number two, for green new deal. It was going to ban cows. It was going to ban cars. It was going to ban factories. It was going to ban transportation, right? It was going to ban planes. Yep. It's the stupidest thing anybody <laughs> has ever heard. And yet she's not laughed at for mm -hmm. some reason. People take it seriously. It would literally I'm not exaggerating, and this is not hyperbole, destroy the American economy almost instantly. Number three, she's made a number of videos where she says the world will end in between 10 and 12 years and be unable to support human life if her Green New Deal or something very close to it is not passed. She's that nutty. This is a woman who says the holding camps along the border where we capture people illegally breaking into the United States, which is a felony, are just like Nazi concentration camps. There's no difference. That is insane. My parents were in those camps that were designed to kill Millions and millions and millions of people a year, and they did. That was the purpose. Nobody broke into a concentration camp, and nobody could leave. If you're coming into the country, you can turn right around and leave, and you don't end up in one of those detention facilities because they'll let you go. You can leave whenever you want. Go south. Don't come back. Right? You're yep. fed. You're clothed. You're given medicine and health care and air conditioning. Not like the people on the homeless veterans on the street, they get nothing. It's a fortune to support these people. And it's a concentration camp. I mean, the stage pictures when she went to the border and they showed her crying on one side of the fence, the other side of the fence were reporters that were honest 
that panned widely. She was on the right side of the fence. There was nobody on the left side of the fence. It was a staged picture for the press. And the press ate it up knowing what they were doing was perpetrating a fraud. Almost every proposal this woman comes up with has no basis in economic reality. I mean that literally. She has no background other than a low paying bartender career. This is the woman that was fired from hot dog on a stick for being <laughs> incompetent. Okay? <laughs> I'm dead serious. And used to get drunk in college and dance on the roof. Yeah, now, I know. And now she's a member of Congress. And when they picked her to run, her brother sent in on audition tape to the big money that was looking for a progressive candidate that they could train and support. And she won the audition, and six months later, she was in Congress. Well, she's incredibly unpopular nationwide and in her district for killing so many jobs and saying so many ridiculous, stupid things. And like our previous discussion about both Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar deserves to go back to her former career. I'm sure there's a bar somewhere that would love to take her back and get her out of a position of authority and get the microphone away from her. I mean, she said just last week when they interviewed the former acting director of ICE and he said, we're locking these people up because they're, they committed crimes and she looked him right in the eye in national television and she said, illegal immigration is not a crime. Yeah. By definition, <laughs> illegal means <laughs> not legal, meaning it's a crime. And he looked at her in astonishment as if he couldn't believe his ears that someone in Congress would say something so <laughs> dumb, committing a crime doesn't mean it's illegal. Uh, yes, it does. That's exactly <laughs> what it means. How do you deal with people like that? What do you say to make it significant enough that people get that you're really, really dumb when you say stuff like cows farting are destroying America, therefore no more cows? 